Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be walking you through how to create email automations on MailChimp. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to set up your MailChimp account or create audiences or do email blasts and all that basic stuff, check out the link below for our basics for beginners guide. But if you're familiar with all of that and you're looking for the next step, then that is probably going to be setting up some automations. Now, do keep in mind, automations and customer journeys are a premium feature, so you do have to be paying a minimum of $10 a month in order to have this feature. Now, I do think that the paid version is definitely worth the ability to set up automations because it allows you to create really unique and customized email marketing funnels that, if used correctly, can drive a ton of sales. So without going on too long, let's jump into the guide and show you exactly how to create automations. So from your main dashboard here in MailChimp, you're gonna click on your left-hand action bar and you will click on the third option down and go to automations. Now you're going to next click on my journeys and this is where you can see any automations that you currently have. So for this particular project, we have a webinar funnel and we can see our automations, we can see that it's working. Now before I actually show you what the whole funnel looks like, I'm gonna show you how to actually go ahead and create one yourself. So obviously on the top right hand here, we'll click the create button. Now we can go through customer journey or classic automation. For this tutorial, we'll be going with classic automations. And you can click any of these options here or you can go ahead and do a custom. So we're gonna go ahead and do custom. So the first thing of course is to name your campaign. And again, just like an email blast, the name of your campaign is for internal use only. No one receiving the email is gonna see this. The next thing we need to decide is which audience is going to go ahead and get this automation. So we'll click on one of our audiences here. So I'll go ahead and click this test audience and then we'll click begin. Now the next step here is to set up our trigger. So this is an automated email and by default it's automatically going to send one day after someone is added to this particular audience. Now, if we wanna edit that, we simply click the edit button and we can go ahead and change the trigger if we want. But, so we can make it so the first email sends after previous email was sent, after previous email was clicked, etc. You can definitely go ahead and explore that and play around, but typically 99.9% .9 of the time, the first email in the automation is going to be um, based on a time frame around when they were added to the list. So for example, if you want to send someone an immediate email welcoming them to your newsletter as soon as they subscribed or signed up, you would go ahead and click on edit and we would go ahead and click immediately right here. And that means that as soon as they hit our list, whether we have an automation set up through something like Zapier that automatically adds them or we add them manually to our list or they're linked to our newsletter from our website, whatever it is, as soon as they subscribe to our mailing list or newsletter, they're gonna get our first email. Now, the next thing to set up is our schedule. Now, this just means every day, all day. That basically just means that whether it's four o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the afternoon, no matter what day it is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no matter what time it is, it's gonna send. If we wanna say, for example, that we don't wanna send on Tuesdays and Saturdays, we can untick those. And if we wanna say that we want to send between 12 a.m. and another time, then we can do that, or we can do only send between these times, etc. So we can play around a lot with that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and actually create our email. So once you set up your triggers and your timing, go ahead and name your first one. So you could do something like um, welcome email. If this is an automatic welcome, then you could just number it for one. Now here's where you're gonna put in your subject. Now this is what your list is going to see. So what's gonna pop up in their inbox. So I'll say welcome. Again, if you have watched our beginner's guide, you know all about the strategies for email, subject lines, and preview text. The from name, you should know this as well. And the from email address, this is just who it's gonna say it's from and what the reply email address will be. Now the next thing it will do is we'll click next on the bottom right. Oh, it looks like we missed a field. So it is going to make you verify your email address before you can actually use that email, which again is something we talk about in the basics for beginners guide linked down below. So for now we'll use 
an email that I know is verified and we'll click next. So next we're gonna pick our template and this is the same exact thing as sending out an email blast. So again, if you don't know how to do this, if you don't know how to pick a template or design an email, then definitely check out the basics for beginners guide. But this is where we're going to go ahead and actually create the email itself. And once we do that, we'll go ahead and we'll click save and continue. And now we've got our first email. So we want to add a second email now. So we'll go ahead and click add another email. Now this is again where we can set up our trigger. So if we want to send this one day after they were sent our welcome email, we could do that. If we want to make it, let's say, two days later, we can update the trigger. Every day, all day, same thing, and you're going to go ahead and just design your email just the same, and then you could just rinse and repeat, keep adding as many steps as you'd like. Let's say you want to wait another three days after the second email, go ahead and update that. You build out your, you build out your email. Email number four, let's say we want to send this one day or two, uh, two days after our last email. It's going to be the same thing. So it's really just rinsing and repeating what we've already showed you. It's a really simple process. So then we'll click next. And from here, it's going to tell us if you have anything that needs to be fixed, right? So it's telling us that we have two things that need to be fixed. This is because we haven't actually set up half of these emails. Now, if we had actually set up the full campaign, we would click start sending and it would start sending. You can also send a test email up here or you can save and exit right here. So I'm going to show you real quick what our actual automated um, drip campaign looks like. So I'll click on my automations. I'll go to my journeys. And this right here is the current drip campaign that we are running for this particular business. And this is a webinar funnel. So people are signing up for a webinar and then we're putting them in the drip campaign. So we can see our first email triggers one day after they joined our audience. Our second is two days after they were sent that first email, then three days after they were sent email number two, then two days after they were sent email number three, then three days after they were sent email number four, two days after they were sent email number five, and one day after they were sent email number six. Now, if you want to look at the analytics, you can see all of the analytics here for each campaign and each email in the sequence. You can see how many are in the queue to receive it, how many have received it, the open rate and the click rate. So that's pretty much it, guys. It is a very simple process, but a very effective process. If you can create a strategic email campaign and have the right content in the right sequence, and really get to pe pique people's interests or push the right products at the right time, an email drip campaign can be an extremely effective form of digital marketing. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. It is down below in the description. Also, if you're interested in learning like videos like this and a lot more in depth in MailChimp and everything from Facebook ads to creating websites and Google ads and YouTube ads, and everything in between about growing your business online, we do have a link in the description where we have a huge library of content where you can learn all of these things as well. If you found this to be helpful, do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.